Hello YouTube, it's Chris and I'm back in the Bolt today and it's exciting because I uh, remember I was talking about uh, ordering a trailer hitch, uh, a class one hitch so I could put a bike rack on the back of the Bolt. So it arrived today. So again, I've looked over the internet, I haven't seen anybody put uh, a hitch on a Bolt yet. So um, I've got the instructions, I'm going to just try to do it myself. It looks pretty easy, there's only four bolts. I had a good look underneath the car, it's all nice and clean, it looks pretty straightforward. So. Um, Wish me luck and um, yeah, then I can go get a bike rack. So here I am actually under the bolt now and the hitch uses two connection points. See that hole up there? They drop um, a bolt through there. That's one connection point. And then this is the other one. You back this off and connect it there. And uh, it's the same on the other side. So four points of connection for the rack and it's bolted right onto the frame. If we look under the bolt, there's not a lot going on in the back. It's all actually pretty clean and empty under here. And there you can see that huge 60 kilowatt hour battery in the middle of the car between the front and rear tires. But back here, I'm surprised how little there actually is. Not a lot going on. So this should be fairly easy to do. Let's hope. And here's the rack from Draw Tight. Uh, I've had it delivered here and I'm uh, just gonna install it. Looks like it's got the four connection points, this one and here and then on the other side. So uh, I think it looks straightforward. I've got a torque wrench, I've got the instructions. I should be good to go, wish me luck. So first thing, first thing, unfortunately, this thing's brand new and I just pulled off this protective covering that they had on here and look, it's already been damaged, I guess, in shipping or in storage and over here damaged as well. So that's a little disappointing. I guess it will be under the car so this stuff doesn't matter, but again, I purchased a brand new I'm not going to bitch about it too much because there's only two of these available to me in British Columbia. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll just work with this one. There's the model number specifically built for the Chevy Bolt EV. That's pretty cool. So I've seen this on the internet. This is the technique here where this is your bolt that's going to drop into the frame of the car. And then you screw on this wire, which allows you to pull it back through the frame. You put your washer and nut on there. And that's your one securing point for this upper one here. The front one here, there's already a bolt on the car. So you can reuse that bolt. So yeah, let me see if I can get these dropped into the uh, bolt in the frame. So that's actually really easy. That takes a second. I already got one in, kind of hard to see. Let's see. Yeah, very simple. There's the hole there. And all you do is just kind of fish your bolt up, which I can't do probably with one hand. Fish the bolt up inside there. Fish that guy up there. And pull down. And that's going to sit in there and then as you snug that up that's what's going to hold your rack up in the frame and then they want you to take this bolt off here and just uh, connect so there's my four connections that's pretty easy the instructions also say to remove these little push pins that just hold this fascia up so i guess that's just access to bring in and we are going to have to cut this five inches out a little bit and that's about it you can't really see probably it doesn't matter but i just wanted to show you that very simple instructions say to remove the two bolts factory bolts or nuts sorry from up here uh, i can't read there you go so they come off with a 15 millimeter socket so this has been the uh, biggest part of the layout here is um just laying out where you have to cut this plastic fascia and actually what happens is the entire hitch there goes up underneath the fascia. So the only thing you're gonna see really is this little piece here coming out. Uh, so I just wanna make sure this is perfect, of course. You can see the first time I was a little off because I was underneath the car. 
and I've decided to use my Dremel cut tool to just cut through this plastic. So yeah, is this the first time I've ever cut into a $52,000 car? Yep, that's right. Uh, so wish me luck. Right, well, that actually went perfectly. The Dremel was a good choice for that. Nice straight cut. I filed off any of the little shavings. It's nice and straight. So now let's see if we can get the uh, hitch up in there, in the cavity. So hey, what do you know, success. Uh, that actually worked out quite well. Everything's buttoned up, back together. Looks pretty good. In fact, I think this is the kind of job that um, is best done by maybe the uh, the owner instead of a mechanic, because I don't think the mechanic's actually gonna really care, you know, to sh file down the edges and everything. So yeah, that's really, works out really well. Um, yeah, I think it looks good. Yeah, it's gonna work out really well and it's pretty much hidden. So now I can go buy a bike rack, I think. All done under here, I used a little bit of black uh, rust paint over the bolts so that they uh, shouldn't rust as quickly. Torqued them with my torque wrench, button everything back together. And I think that's it. All right, so there's the finished product. And you know what, I really couldn't be happier. I can't believe the Kuat uh, Sherpa 2, which is 2.0, which is what that is. If you look at that, look how well it fits on the bolt. It looks like an OEM product. First of all, the color match is incredible. Uh, I'm sure there's, you know, an interior decorator out there somewhere that will tell you, no, no, I can clearly see that one is the Chevy Nightfall Gray and the other one is the Kuat Gunmetal Gray, but they are as close as they could be. And then look at the orange accent, how it matches the orange Chevy logo. So that's an incredible fit. Also look how the rack fits between the lights, the tail lights. So you're not getting any obstructed uh, view of the lights while um, it's in this upright position, ready to carry bikes. So yeah, really happy with that. The hit, the uh, draw tight hitch is way back under there that you can't see. So that works out really well. So um, yeah pretty happy with that installation so I guess we're ready now to put a oh yeah I got in trouble for a or not in trouble but a guy made a comment that he didn't like the look of my roof rack that's what it looks like once you take it off and have the Yakima uh, foot 19 landing pad 19 so once you take the rack off that just clips in like that so that uh, allows you to take the box and the bars off all at the same time. So anyway, let's get a bike and see if it fits. All right, so that's my Trek Rumblefish. It's a large frame, 21 inch frame and a 29 inch tire. So that's probably the biggest bike uh, known to man. And what I'll do is I'll go get another bike. Yeah, pretty good, good looking kit. And there's the Trek 3500 on there as well. That's much more of a normal size bike. You can see that's the 26 inch tire and how it fits on there. So both bikes seem to fit really well. Good luck seeing the license plate, I'm sure. But that's pretty common. And the bikes do not touch each other in any way. So we have no problem that way. Um, so a couple reasons why the... Uh, Sherpa 2.0 is a great option for Chevy Bolt, other than just the uh, unbelievable color match. Uh, the Chevy Bolt, the trailer hitch only allows for a 2,000 pound tow weight, which equates to a 200 pound tongue weight. And when you use a bike rack like that, that's pulling away from the center hitch by about two feet, uh, they half that. So basically you can only really carry on a bike rack about 100 pounds. So because of that, you need a very lightweight rack. So that rack, the Sherpa 2 is, I think, 31 pounds, plus the bikes. The bikes can be up to 40 pounds each uh, on the rack. And uh, so that allows me to carry two bikes on this little tiny uh, Chevy Bolt. So um, yeah, that's it. Uh, 
getting into the back with the Sherpa 2, you actually have a lever. I don't know if I can do this holding a cell phone, but uh, that's the lever there. And if you drop that, it'll drop down. Let me show you that. Yeah, there you go. So by pulling that pin, you can get into the trunk, which of course, that's always the biggest thing. You load up the whole trunk, put the bikes on, and then forget something, then you have to get back into the uh, the hatch. So that uh, drops it to a 45 degree angle, I believe. And to load it, you just pull it up again. So I'll shut the door here. And then I think you can just uh, grab this and pull it up. There you go. That's it. So, Sherpa, Kuat Sherpa 2.0, Chevy Bolt Magic.